Well, we learned this much last week. When Vin Scully calls in sick, the rest of us all get a little queasy. Scully, in case you haven't heard, missed five games on the Dodgers' homestand last week with what was described as a bad cold before returning for Sunday afternoon's game against the Padres. It really was logical that he stay away because the conditions were cold and damp for most of the week. And after all, the man is 84 years old. But a side effect was that we got a glimpse of life without Vin. It is, to be sure, a little frightening for those of us who grew up here, who have pulled up a chair and spent part of the evening with Vin all these years. Indeed, I think I can safely say most of us learned baseball from him, just as we learned about basketball from the late Chick Hearn on Lakers broadcasts. And as an aside, Scully's not only arguably the best baseball broadcaster ever, he is truly the nicest, classiest man I've ever dealt with in sports. What you see on TV is what you get off screen. Scully's part of the soundtrack of our summers, even though he no longer travels east of Phoenix. When he's supposed to be behind the mic and he's not, it's a shock. Actually, Charlie Steiner didn't do a bad job on TV last week, teaming with Steve Lyons. Listening to Steiner, in fact, was quite preferable to the regular road TV pairing of Lyons and Eric Collins, where their voices are so similar you can't tell who to blame for saying what. To be honest, when Vin does eventually retire, the Dodgers could do worse than to put Steiner on TV full-time, where his penchant to miss an occasional pitch isn't as critical, and to hire an up-and-coming announcer to team with Rick Monday on radio. Maybe the Dodgers can find the next Spiro Didis. Remember when the Lakers first hired Didis for radio? The reaction was, who's this guy? Then he opened his mouth to do play-by-play -play and said, whoa, he's good. But that, hopefully, is a long way away. As long as possible, I want Vin telling stories, relating current developments to the franchise's rich history, and even reading those Farmer John commercials. In fact, I think they need to return the phrase to the commercials, easternmost in quality, westernmost in flavor. You hear that, you know you're home. For the Press Enterprise and PE.com, I'm Jim Alexander. Thanks for watching.